Hi guys! This video shows you how to make these adorable needle felted emojis, which you can use for badges, necklaces, or even earrings. I actually use the heart emoji as a mini pillow for this dollhouse on my craft channel Macaroon, so be sure to click the link here to watch that video. And don't forget to subscribe to both channels because I upload new videos on each one every week. These emojis are made using a process called needle felting. You'll need a special felting needle that looks like this, which has tiny hooks in the tip. These are sold in most craft shops or easily ordered online, which I've linked below. There's no substitute for a felting needle and you'll see why later on. So please don't try using a normal needle or a pin for this because that simply wouldn't work and it'll leave you really frustrated. So to get started, you'll need a felting needle and a felting mat, which is simply to prevent your needle from hitting a hard surface. You can use any type of sponge, mattress foam or styrofoam for this. Then you'll need some felting wool, which is also called wool roving. You can get this in any place that sells felting needles or order online. And lastly, find a tape roll or a cookie cutter or any sort of round object that you can use as a template. First, rip off a small piece of wool and push it inside the tape. Now simply poke the wool until it gets more and more solid. Needle felting works because the hooks in the needle rip up the wool and compresses it into felt. You can see that when you start with loose wool, there are a lot of air gaps between the fibers. When you start poking it, the hooks in the tip of the needle help to rip up the fibers so they become shorter and start to stick together. The air gaps also get smaller so that's why needle felted pieces shrink as you work on it. If you keep on poking, then the fibers will eventually stick together into a ball and you can even shape or sculpt it like clay. You can take your piece out of the template, wrap it in more wool and repeat the process to make it thicker. When it looks good, take it out and clean up the surface. Be sure to hold your fingers away from the needle so you don't poke yourself by accident. There's an infamous man vs pin video where Rob tries to make an Easter bunny. And I've linked that down below in case you have a strong stomach and you're curious to see what happens when needle felting goes really wrong. Now take some tiny pieces of red wool and make small V-shapes for the eyes. This is easier to do than making a heart. And then once you have the V-shape, just add more wool on the side until you have a heart shape. If you want to learn more about needle felting, then I have tons of videos about this on my other channel, Macaroon. So be sure to check out the link to my needle felting playlist in the description box below. Now simply repeat the whole process to make the second emoji. A common mistake is to stop felting when the wool is still very loose. For example, this is the stage where many beginners stop felting because they see the round shape and they think it's ready. But you can easily see the difference when compared with a properly felted piece. A fully felted piece should be completely smooth without any wispy bits of wool on the surface. You should also be able to squeeze it slightly, but the shape bounces back right away. The needle felting process always takes a bit longer than you might expect, so just keep on poking until everything feels nice and solid. When making the details, be sure to use the tiniest amount of wool possible. It's always easier to add more wool on top, but it's much harder to take it away. This laughing emoji is slightly more difficult because of the tiny details, so you can always stay with the easier designs if you're a beginner. So once your emojis are done, you can simply use safety pins to attach them onto anything you like. For instance, you can use these to decorate this no-sew pencil case from my other video. Needle felting is super relaxing to do and is great for lazy people because you barely need any equipment aside from the needle, wool and a felting mat. Please check out the description box to see where you can get felting supplies from with international shipping and to watch my other felting tutorials if you're interested in getting started with this craft. I have two more videos planned for cute life hacks this week, so be sure to subscribe and be part of my notification squad. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!